Taking a live look downtown where Las Vegas City Hall is taking on a growing problem, the urban heat island effect. Fox 5's Kim Passoff is live in East Las Vegas outside Gary Reese Freedom Park to break down what that means and what's being done about it. Kim? So this line of trees here on Washington Avenue between Pecos and Mojave, they are new. They have been planted here within the last few weeks. One tree at a time, the city hopes to bring down the temperature and fight the urban heat island effect. The scorching sun heating the pavement. The urban area of Las Vegas expanded rapidly between 1990 and 2010, covering large areas of native desert with urban materials. Concrete and asphalt retain more heat than the original landscape would, and that makes certain areas of the city hotter. The downtown core and the neighborhoods immediately surrounding down, downtown Las Vegas have been the ones that we have found that have the higher temperatures. Heat absorbed during the day slowly releases into the atmosphere at night, raising the overall surface temperature one to seven degrees higher than temperatures in outlying areas. The city plans to plant more than 60,000 trees over the next 30 years to provide shade and bring temperatures down in areas most impacted by the urban heat island effect. The tree canopy helps cool the environment down uh, several degrees. 50 plus trees have already been planted in and around Gary Reese Freedom Park, another area of the city made hotter by urban development. We've noticed based on thermal imaging and uh, geographic information system mapping that East Las Vegas in particular has some of the highest rates of the uh, increases in temperatures. That's also where we have a lot of uh, minority and low income communities. The more trees, the better to bring temperatures down, but the water shortage must also be considered. We want to ensure that we have drought tolerant trees and species that are adapted to the heat. According to new numbers from Climate Central, Las Vegas is the second fastest warming city in the country since 1970, up 5.9 degrees on average. And corporations have donated tens of thousands of dollars to pay for these 60,000 trees. If you'd like to help plant them, we have a link on how to do that on our website. That is fox5vegas.com. Reporting live at East Las Vegas, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.